So things have gotten a little crazy since we made a little video about this guy. Um, COVID's kind of taken over everything and essentially in the shop we're down to me. So I thought it might be a little interesting, maybe potentially, to do a little bit of a vlog. I'm going to try and put up something hopefully every day, maybe every other day of how I'm making on uh, and kind of show you what I've been dealing with. So not dealing with, but you know, making, getting, getting accomplished by myself. This is pretty much all of today. Maybe a little, a little bit more than that, I guess. Um, some parts up at the front, I guess, as well. Some of this, this is from this weekend. That's a lot of parts that need to go out on all of those. Um, these are pretty cool. Needed a tab all of these. We're going to add a little engraving to the bottom of our bases, the logo. We're gonna do that right now, and then we're gonna cut a couple more. I have, eh, where'd they go? Oh, right here. I have a couple more that we're gonna make uh, down below there. So I'm gonna take you through all that. So first, I gotta get this off of there and set up the fixture plate that's way back there on the CNC. So let's do that. this before it's really simple we put pins in to locate it here and here and then we've threaded into the steel below the phenolic in these locations what you're hearing in the background is the spindles warming up right now it's a little bit annoying but necessary I'm sure this audio is super great I'm just using my iPhone And this is a three newton meter torque wrench. So what's great about it, oh, I gotta hit that one too. What's great about the torque wrench is unlike this drill, that's not right. Like the drill, it actually has a setting for what we found to be plenty of torque. Keep this down. And especially since we're using aluminum bolts, it doesn't over torque. You can't really put a lot of force into it since it's hand twisting in this weird orientation. This is already pre-set up. These are the pieces that we used last on the fixture plate that we made. What we found with this fixture plate is with a couple of indexing pins and then screwing it down, it is incredibly reliable. We can throw flow through the vacuum, through the bed, through the holes into our fixtures as we like, which is really nice. these sweet little caps that Chris made to go over the vacuum ports. Haven't tried them out yet. First time. Ooh, those are nice. It's not a big deal if stuff gets down there, but eh, might as well not. Those are sweet. Good job, Chris. cameras to handhold so looking pretty nice can't tell if it's tearing out at all so with engraving, you typically do two passes at least, and we're only moving at like 50 inches a minute right here. Should be pretty clean. It's a little deeper than I wanted, but 
it is a 45 degree bit, so you can't do a whole lot with that. That's nice. What do you think? Not bad for a first try. Here we go. It's gonna get crazy. This is a uh, inch and a half shear hog, and it really flies chips. Woo, baby! cut than I expected. It's about a quarter inch. Oh, that's no good. Hopefully that doesn't get into our part. It's the problem with too heavy of a cut on the back end, it'll tear out. Got a nice big chunk there. Probably should have had this one plane down a little more than what it was to start with. That's about what it's supposed to sound like. Uno, two, three, four. This is a maple four inch iMac bass. This is a repping pass for the chamfer on top. As you can tell, it doesn't really uh, give any Fs about what you're putting it through. It's a beast of a tool. According to AB Tools that makes these, uh, it's usually just what your spindle can handle. You can literally push them as fast as you possibly can. Oh yeah, beautiful. Watch the chips over here. Ready? <laughs> Rooster tail. like the turn on this corner here, it vibrates a lot. It's a three quarter inch up cutter. That's really nice, but really we should be using a roughing cutter. They're just like another hundred dollars more than this already, I think it was somewhere over two hundred dollars. Can't push too hard when you get into such hard hardwoods, at least with our spindle setup. Eventually we're going to start knocking off these corners so we don't have to do so much of it on the machine. For now, it goes through a pretty dang quick. What do you think? That's through the roughing. Kind of cool on its own. Kind of a lot of chips. See why we cover the uh, ports back there. I think this is funny, it's like a little bird house. Easily one of my favorite parts. Very satisfying. So the first one went pretty good, but I want to change a few things. So I end up doing this quite a bit where I'm running back and forth to the office. So this whole cam station idea up by the CNC would be real nice. I'm adding a second finishing pass, I think we'll get a little better, a little better of a finish anyway. Dink, save file, and let's go. Ah! 
So yeah, anyway, I want to put a cam station over top of this. So this will bump out a little bit. So there'll be a computer monitor. This will go inside of this contraption. I'll see if I can find a photo to put in right here, but it'll kind of take this space up because we don't really like to do cam on the machine. Just use it for cutting. We used to do that back in the garage, kind of crazy, but have a laptop. We're gonna set it up right here so that we can make quick changes, turn around, synced G code is right here and just go for it. Do your seat. Making a relief bowl for when the big mill comes into the bottom. It doesn't have to fight its way down through hard maple. I think I'm gonna try that one before I drill the other one, just in case I mess it up. It's warm, probably not a good sign. All right, there goes nothing. Too much left there. Those guys need finishing, more detabbing, but it's getting pretty late. I don't know, it's 8.50. I'll probably uh, head off when this is done because I'm tired and I gotta post this in the morning because, you know, I said I would, which is crazy. I don't know why I did that. I should have maybe thought this through, but anyway, I hope you all enjoy this uh, little view into uh, what the reality is of, you know, when I don't clean up and make wild chips. Um, I'm gonna try and post these every day. They're probably gonna be a little bit rougher, definitely shorter. I'm gonna cut quite a bit more than what I filmed, I hope, because I don't have time for a half an hour edit again, but hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully I improved the audio quality because I'm guessing it's pretty rough, but we'll see. If you like it, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. That's just how it is. All right, see ya.